acting on a budget. Over the next few months, I've decided that I am going to start redoing some of my older videos. Videos from three years ago when I first started doing YouTube, where the quality was really poor in the videos, the lighting was horrific, and I was just still so new that the editing was not any good either. And the videos were like 20, 30, 40 minutes long. Some of these projects are so stinking cute and they really are some of my favorites. Several of you have already asked me where certain videos are. I have taken down some of the autumn and Christmas videos to redo them over the next couple of months. So today's video is one of my absolute favorites. It was probably, I think my third or fourth YouTube video that I ever posted. Today's project is somewhat Pinterest inspired and it comes from those scarecrows that are made out of the mini terracotta pots. So let's get to it and let me show you the twist that I've put on these scarecrows using 99 cent store and Dollar Tree items. You're gonna love this. For this project, I picked up two packs of these Pete's Pots that you can get from the 99 cent store year round. You can also get them from the Dollar Tree seasonally. Some of this fabric paint from the Dollar Tree in the colors of white, black, and orange. This burlap ribbon in the colors of brown and orange. This thicker craft cord that I pick up from Walmart for $2.96 a pound. Apple Barrel's paint in the color of sunny day and melted chocolate. And two sheets of felt that you can get at Joann's for 20 cents a piece and this decorative trim. Starting this project off, I'm gonna take my Pete's Pots and a cutter, and I am gonna go about an inch from the top here. And I am going to cut all the way around the pot. Don't throw this ring away. We're gonna set this ring aside for tomorrow's project because boy oh boy do I have the cutest stinking project using these that you're gonna love. You're not gonna wanna miss this. For today's project, we're just gonna be utilizing this part of the pot. I'm gonna do this to six pots. Now taking the apple barrel paint in the color of sunny day, and for this project, I'm thinking I'm gonna need the whole two ounce bottle. Then I'm gonna take Apple Barrel's melted chocolate and add just a couple dots to this. This is gonna help make it that beautiful harvest yellow. I'm happy with the yellow that I've got. I'm gonna take and paint the outside of this Pete's pot and halfway down the inside wall. I'm gonna do this to all six of the Pete's Pots. Then taking my crafting cookie sheet, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 125. I'm gonna stick these Pete's Pots in there for five minutes. They'll be dry and they'll be ready for their second coat. My Pete's Pots are painted and dry and this yellow is so beautiful, I love it. Now I'm gonna take and I am going to puncture a hole in the middle here on the top of four of the pots, just like that. Now taking the green decorative trim, I'm gonna take and hot glue the trim around the top of each pot. Now using the black fabric paint, I'm gonna take and make a face for my scarecrow. Now using the orange paint, I'm gonna make a nose. Before I go any farther, I'm gonna let this dry. My scarecrow face is dry. Now using the white fabric paint, I'm gonna take and put a couple highlights in my scarecrow's eyes. Thank you. 
I'm gonna take and outline the nose. I'm gonna stick this back in the oven before I go on to the mouth. The nose and eyes are dry again. Now it is time to add the mouth. And there I have a super cute squiggly scarecrow mouth. I'm gonna put this in the oven and when it's dry, we're gonna finish putting this together. Now taking the orange felt, I'm gonna take and fold it in half. And I'm gonna cut about a one and a half inch strip. And I'm going to cut 12 of those. Now I'm going to take and I'm just going to lay three of them on top of each other because what I'm going to do now is just cut slits in them. A quarter of an inch from the top just like that, the full length of every strip. Now I'm gonna take and hot glue my orange felt strips into the inside of my Pete's Pots, like so. Once you've gone all the way around the inside once, I'm gonna continue going around layering it. I've come to the end of my felt. I'm gonna grab one more piece of felt and continue layering it around the inside. I'm gonna do this to all six of the pots. Now what's left to do is to put this little fella together. Taking the pots that we put a hole in, I'm gonna be using my thicker craft cord and I'm gonna stick that craft cord through the hole. Pulling it up through the hole, I'm gonna tie a knot on the end of it. Pulling it back through so it stops where the knot is. And I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna cut it right about here. I'm gonna take and do the same thing to this pot. I would say not to make the length of the scarecrow's arms any more than five inches. Otherwise it's gonna be too long and it's gonna look unproportioned. Now I'm gonna take and glue the arms onto the pot that doesn't have a hole. You should have two pots that don't have holes. This one and the face. just like that. Now I'm gonna take my craft cord and I'm gonna hot glue some right around here. And I like to add this craft cord around here because I feel like it gives it a more finished look and it kind of gives the illusion of hay coming out of the neck because this is where the head is gonna be set next and I'm gonna put hot glue all around this craft cord here and just set his head on top. Isn't that stinking cute? I love it. All that's left is to put our legs on. I've made my legs six inches long and I am going to take and pull back the felt here Place some hot glue on my craft cord and just place this right like so. Now taking some burlap ribbon, I'm gonna take and cut about a one inch piece. Then I'm gonna cut it in half, giving me a small square just about that big. I'm gonna take and Hot glue it onto the leg of the scarecrow. 
Then taking the orange burlap ribbon, I'm gonna take and hot glue this right on top of the brown burlap here. And this here is my version of a terracotta scarecrow using 99 cent store peat pots, felt, and some burlap with decorative ribbon. Aren't these just so stinking cute? And I tell you, Allie and I made these together a couple years ago and I let her paint her scarecrow and it came out so stinking cute. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today for this adorable Pete's Pot Scarecrow. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Google+. You can find those links in the description box below. Just click on those links, click follow, and you'll also be notified through social media when I'm uploading a new video or just doing something fun. You can also find my PO box in the description box below as well if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. And don't forget, if I've inspired you to make one of my projects, snap a quick picture, send it to me on Facebook or Instagram because I love seeing all of your creations and I can feature them in an upcoming video. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now.